Okay, how are we doing out there? Good morning, good morning, good morning, or good night, depending on where you're at in the world. First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of a luminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection. Technology gain times two and three. That's one of the things we specialize in is ambient light rejection technology. You must see all that, but that just shows you how much light we have in the environment. If you notice, like I said, you can look around the internet and see how many people are doing demonstrations on our level, and we do our demonstrations and mainly with all the lights on. Once in a while I'll turn the lights off, but mainly our demonstrations are done in fully lit environments just to show you don't have to be subjected to a dark environment. You don't have to worry about your screen fading out or washing out, none of that nonsense that you feel you have to go through if you purchase a projector or actually uh, take the time to get this investment. All right, so uh, first things first, let me explain to you a little bit about my projectors. My projectors I use down here in the shop, none of them are 4K. These are all outdated projectors. They no longer manufacture these projectors. They're old, old, old projectors. Um, I paid about $90 for that one down there and $150 for this one. I'm going to show you how this projector is hooked up. Um, they don't have uh, HDMI outputs on the back of these projectors. These projectors are just all, I'm going to mess up my cable hookup back here. Try to make sure I got this, oh, there we go. Here's my picture. These projectors back here are all um, VGA and you get a DVI. That's basically about it as in any form of high frequency or any form of uh, output on the back one, but that's all you get. Here's a wireless adapter right here, that's basically about it, but these projectors are all pretty much um, uh, projectors of VGA, or VGA or DVI. DVI is the highest output you get on here. So what I did was I used a uh, um, HDMI to, uh, sorry, VGA to HDMI output with an audio output. I got my Chromecast running through here. So technically, this thing is not even running anywhere near, it's not running anywhere near 1080p or in 4K or anything like that. It's not running anything like that doesn't have that capability to do so. That's what I like about the lens shift, because the lens shift will allow me to move the image from one end to the next. I can move it back and forth. That's one thing I like about these projectors. They do have that lens shift capability. So my projector here is um, running at 720p. We're just 720p. And keep in mind, they don't make this particular model anymore. It doesn't exist. It's going, they don't make it anymore. So you have to buy them on eBay or any place else you might be able to get it, but you will not be able to get one brand new. If you do get one brand new, and hats off to you, but I haven't seen one yet. All right, so um, like I said, there's no calibrating the projector. And when I'm dealing with my customers, they do not want to calibrate the projector. Now some will, some may, it's up to them, but majority of most of my customers don't want to deal with a calibrated projector. They want to be able to use the uh, screen in a fully lit environment. They want it easy to apply, and they want something they can use with just about any projector. And if you notice my demonstrations, you go back and check my archives, we use different forms of projectors. All right, so I'm gonna come over here first things first. We're gonna do a demonstration. Just no oversaturation. Like I said, the demonstration I did with all the, with all the colors, just to show you how beautiful the technology looks without using uh, calibration software and so forth. Because like I said, most people just wanna go home, set the screen up, don't want to worry about calibrating the projector, have a beautiful picture, and keep in mind you can do this in a fully lit environment. I don't like doing demonstrations in the dark because all it shows is that the fact that the only way that screen is going to look good, it has to be in the dark. So I've got some natural scenery. Now that adapter piece, I got that on Amazon for around $7. It works absolutely fantastic. We got two more coming in. See, look at this natural color. No, this this is how amazing the screen paint is. Now, this is our new gamer paint. Gamer paint has the ability to add more color pop, better contrast, better white levels. It's a beautiful, beautiful screen paint, and it will be available on the 14th. Right now, I'm already setting up the website for it. Now, I got people ahead of time that were wanting to get their hands on the paint before the launch date. They were actually requesting for PayPal. Um, what do you call them? PayPal. Um, Oof, got the name for it. They were requesting for PayPal invoices to get their hands on the paint faster. So we have a few people out there who already have it. Now the Gamer Paint is using the Amulite Rejection Technology Gain Times 3.
And this is, like I said, no calibrating the projector, no software, none of that. This is right out of the box. Now, now usually when I do my projectors, I don't really change anything inside. There's no point. You know what I mean, screen paint pretty much does all the work. Interesting song, but all right. Like I said, full the environment. Look how beautiful and well lit the environment is. And I have all the lights on. And this is using a projector that is 720, I'm doing 720p. Because I don't even have an HDMI on the back of this projector. So all the converter does, converter just converts it. It gives it a little bit of picture quality, but it's a little bit. Not to 100% full 1080p, like a projector got upstairs. But what it does is it basically allows you to be to convert the signal from VGA into HDMI. And add an audio port. Because sometimes if you use DVI, DVI's majority ones I've seen do not have audio ports. And I'll take the lights out just for kicks and giggles and all that other good stuff. And this is on an outdated 720p projector. They don't even manufacture these things anymore. Like I said, no 4K. Now, if I can get this from a 720p outdated projector without using 4K, without using calibrating the projector or any of that, to go with it, imagine if you're using a projector of 1080p or 4K on this technology. And it just shows our customers that they don't have to spend a lot of money. Like I said, that projector sitting over there cost me 150 bucks. That's it. Doesn't even have HDMI on the back of it. Let's go to some natural colors. Now, before my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using the Amulite Rejection Technology Game Times 2 and 3. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Our gamer paint will be coming out very soon. Thank you all for your time and God bless. All that light. Oh, real quick. Projector sits back 12 feet from the screen.